Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk here. Today I want to talk about my experiences trying to get Windows to update uh, to this version 2024 June cumulative update version 23H2 and it doesn't matter how much I try to uh, install it, it just keeps saying install error. Okay, I can, so firstly to get to this screen I can just search for Windows update Windows Update Settings, it'll come into this page and then I can click download and install all but it's simply just not going to work, alright? It'll go into downloading and then it'll say installing and then every time it downloads it's probably another 700 megabytes. I have already tried to install the offline installer and that doesn't work either so the only way that I can fix this is by doing what's called a Windows in-place upgrade. And what the in-place upgrade does is essentially takes you out of the Windows operating system, gets you back into the installation mode, and it tries to update Windows outside of running Windows. So I will show you what to do in a second, but I will firstly let, let you see what it's like when this fails. Okay, so you can see that it has failed. It's taken a very long time, probably 10 minutes, and then it says install error zero times 800736B3, whatever that means. So now what we're gonna do is to get it to upgrade the Windows without having to do the update. So I'm going to go to Google, all right, and I'm just going to search for Windows 11 in place upgrade. Okay, just search for that, and it comes up with a little how to run. So I'm just going to click on that. How to run in place upgrade. There's a YouTube video if you want to see it, but this is the video. So it says go to Windows 11 website, so let's download that. And then I'm going to click on Download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO for X64. Click that. Windows 11 Multiple Edition ISO. Okay, and I'm just going to click Download now. All right, choose the product language, English, International. Confirm and then verify your download. Uh, okay, let's just click 64 bit download. Okay, and see how big this download is 6.3 gigabytes, 13 minutes. Okay, so let's check back in 13 minutes. Okay, so it's finally finished downloading the ISO file. Let's now open this up. Do you want to open it? Yes, open. Okay, so now it's open it up. In File Explorer, there's a setup file. Let's double click on that. Install Windows 11. Okay, next. Checking for updates. Oh, accept. Making sure you're ready to install. Getting updates. Okay, so now it says to recap, you've chosen to install Windows, keep personal files and apps. Okay, so the important thing is knowing that your personal files and apps are all going to be kept. If it already says keep personal files and apps, do not click this changes what to keep because it's going to stuff everything up. So then click install. And now we just wait and hope it doesn't delete any of my personal files. Okay, so after a while it just started Windows on its own. So let's go in there, see if all my apps are still there. Wow, taking a few minutes again. Okay, so Windows has started. So firstly, it looks like all my apps are still there. You can see Steam is installed, all my 
um, Epic Games and all of that. It's still installed. Is my Adobe there? Everything's still there. All my apps are still there. Now let's go to Windows Update. Okay, now it says I'm up to date. Now it says I'm up to date. Windows 2023.11 update, i completed, completed. You're up to date. All right, and if you go to update history, successfully installed, successfully installed. All right, so that's what it takes to get that update installed. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.